Okay, so today is Saturday. I feel like the last vlog I did was like, it was in the car for like two, I'm oh, sorry, it was like in the vlog for like, or in the car for like two seconds and then there was like the next day I was just like showing you all kinds of things that I had got the day before and I don't know, like it was like a vlog and that was kind of like casual but it wasn't vlog like in that like I felt like I showed you like a lot of stuff that you wouldn't typically see in like a video. So I washed my hair this morning, I did my makeup, do you guys, oh do you guys like my art? artwork it's in it pretty do you guys see it in the background that one um i got i got i get most of my stuff from i canvas so this one is really cute too she has like um i don't know she's just adorable i'll link okay, them below so that was my them. mom do you guys ever have this thing where i guess if you live around your parents it's like it's different but if any of you guys who don't live around your parents or I know that like when I was like in India and Dubai like you ever know like when you talk to your parents sometimes it, like it catches you completely off guard but like like you I don't know it's like when they talk to you, you can just feel like how much they care about you or how much they love you and it almost like I don't want to say it's like heartbreaking but it like makes you feel like I don't know like I don't I, I'm like the weirdest mood like I was totally gonna film like film film videos today but I think I have like a decent amount of stuff that I've filmed I mean I have to pre-film like you guys I, I don't like sit there and like film every week I, I, I would like that but I just don't but so I have two videos up today I have a vlog and then I have the palettes under $20 and then the week before that I did the eyeshadow singles under 15 and so that was good I feel like you guys are liking these kind of videos let me know if like there's other kinds that you want to see like like in I kind of have like a lip oil video that I want to do I have um, a uh, do you guys like my ugly staircase it's so hideous like it's the one part I'm like I haven't painted white yet oh anyway so and I love this robe if you guys follow my Instagram you've probably seen it before but this robe oh my god I love it can I, I have no idea what I'm talking about I've had like one cup of coffee and uh yeah that that's it uh let's see so what are we talking about my mom parent tomorrow's mother's day so I have something planned for that we'll see tomorrow morning we'll see I'm gonna do some baking and then vlogging oh yeah so I want to share some stuff more more personal things less like makeupy things um although i wonder if i should share my makeup with you guys i kind of really like my makeup today uh we'll see how the hair looks whenever i wash my hair in the morning you know how like clean hair never looks good okay so uh let's see what do we have i actually got a whole bunch of like morphe palettes and i really like using them like i have oh it's like focusing on the flowers okay so i really like using morphe eyeshadow palettes so let's see if we can so i have a morphe palette i'll probably list it below i think it's like the the eyeshadow has like a little bit of iridescence to it which is really pretty and then i have some makeup geek on there and uh maybe some of the maybelline constant toast this eye is like twitching like crazy um and then i have like some salon perfect demi wispy things foundation is the makeup forever face and body now they're coming out with like a water foundation that's like i don't know if it's replacing the face and body but it's supposed to be easier to um apply because the, the face and body if you've used either the mac face and body or the makeup forever face and body they're very like you kind of have to wait for them maybe you give it like 15 seconds on your face and then you start moving around or you look kind of get it tacky on your hands and then you really can like build up the coverage but i love the way it looks because it looks like skin like you can't tell that there is any makeup on my face like it just looks like my skin so i have that on I have a bourgeois bronzer, um, the matte illusion in the light, and oh, what did I use for concealer? I used the Tarte Aqua Sealer. That stuff is stunning under the eyes. You have to get it. It looks so perfect. I also use that Hourglass, that trio, that Illum trio with the I would say it's more of like a contour cream, a blush, and a highlight. That thing is stunning. Like when I don't know why I was expecting it not to be pigmented. It's extremely pigmented, but smooth. And as a cream, it's super blendable. I would highly recommend it for like dry skin or aging skin. It will look beautiful on you. And then the lips, I have MAC Oak Liner, which is my favorite favoritist liner that and it's like some of the NYX ones NYX nude beige NYX soft brown those for like a natural nude 
overlining type thing I mean I don't really overline that much but like I always have to overline like right here because I have like no like my lip just doesn't continue sometimes I look at my Instagram pictures and I'm like oh I just followed my natural lip line which is not cute because then there's like a huge gap here anyway and then I have my Tom Ford I am so blank today I'll listen it's a Tom Ford I'll like maybe put a little blurb here Tom Ford lipstick and then I have the Marc Jacobs taboo gloss on and I really like that um um, oh, I know what I can share with you guys. So my brother came over last night and Because uh, he's home for like a hot second before he goes back to school because he's gonna do like a summer semester or summer Whatever classes so we had hookah and I have a whole bunch of snacks and I had just gone to like Trader Joe's a Few days ago so I can show you guys what I get there so I can get so you guys can tell me what you guys get there because I love trying new stuff there Okay, so uh, okay, well, let's see these are really good I really love these. The giant Peruvian Inca corn, obsessed. Um, okay, this is not from Trader Joe's. This is from like the Asian store. But if you guys go to like the Asian market, these peanuts, these like spicy peanuts, are so good. They're the Huang Pei Hong brand. Oh, they're like spicy and they have like pepper, like black pepper corns in them, and like dried chilies. Um, these are some of the gummies that you guys probably already saw in the last vlog. These, if you guys know where you can find these, crispy fish skin, oh my god, they're so good. Or you put them in some broth, oh my god, mm, live for these. I don't know, my mom gets them, I think she was when she was in California, maybe she got some. I don't know if we can get any here in Cleveland, but um, there's some nougat. These things, I'm, I feel like every time I go to Trader Joe's, I get these. They're the inside out carrot cake cookies. And they have like carrot cake cookie with cream cheese fro- oh my god, these are horrible. Um, the lemon bites, these are really good too. Uh, oh, those are just the vegetable chips that I have sometimes. This is also really good. Oops. The pop, the popcorn that's like pickle flavored. I think this is so good. I know it's probably not for everybody. Not everyone loves pickles like that, but I think this is really good. And then there's another brand of popcorn, like it's caramel. It's, what was it? It's salted caramel popcorn. And I can't remember the brand. I think it's Cape Cod or something. And it's like one of those like 35 calories a cup kind of popcorn. It's always sold out whenever I go. It's not at Trader Joe's though. And this, these are the plantain chips that you guys probably saw in um, the previous vlog. I was like just sitting in the car eating. This flavor is really good. The garlic and then the, the plain salted ones are really good too. And this is the brand. I tried looking them up online uh, on like Amazon and they're kind of expensive. Like those are like $4.99 for like almost a pound. So I went to TJ Maxx again, like the one that's not very close to me and I bought like, you guys see this bag? I bought six bags of these. So it's like I spent like $30 on plantain chips, but I love plantain chips. So if you guys see this, these there, definitely get them. They're so good. Okay, anyway, I, I have no idea what to share. I should go eat something and then maybe we'll continue this vlog. I don't know what I'm going to do today. Uh, like I said, I was going to film today, but like my mood is so fucking off. I can't, like, whenever I film beauty videos and my mood is off, like you can tell, like immediately, like it's like, because when I'm reviewing the footage, I'm like, damn, she is in a bad mood. So, uh, okay, so hair is... I guess mostly dry so it doesn't look that bad I always feel like it looks really flat on days that I do it like very like when I wash my hair in the morning but today not so bad I, you know what my hair looks so ombre right now because when I dye my hair like I always just tend to like touch up the roots and I like get like this kind of top layer and then sometimes I get a little bit under here so in case I want to wear my hair like half up or something but like, I tend to skip the bottoms a lot. Do you guys see how dark it is like underneath here? There's like no color. It's so dark, but I really don't, I don't mind it. It looks kind of like a natural kind of, not natural, ombre is never natural, but like there's that. And then I fixed this eyebrow. Oh my God, I was like looking at the footage from before. This eyebrow was like fucking up here. I'm sorry, shit mood guys. Um, I usually don't curse this much in videos, but yeah, this eyebrow was like all the way up here. And I was like looking at it, I was like, whoa. So I'm sure you guys noticed when I was like showing you guys my makeup, but like it's, it's, I brought it, I brought it back down to where the other one is now. So that's good. Okay, so I am currently eating some chicken. I have coconut juice, water, watching Grey's Anatomy, and okay, do you guys? Okay, and I made a fresh hookah, but like there's uh, this wire. I keep wanting to like figure out how to get rid of it. Like I'm thinking, I was thinking of like wrapping it in like white 
not string, but like they have these like cable, like plastic cable type things you can wrap um, around things to like, cause I don't care that it's there so much. It's just like the actual blackness of it is distracting. Um, but I actually like the overall setup of this area. It's like very calming. I don't know if I like the color of the fireplace, like in that kind of peachy beige. This house was built in the 90s, so like there's a lot of like interesting tones that I'm not that crazy about, but I'm a, I hope that laundry is not too loud. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'm taking like a me day, kind of, sort of. You guys can see like this area. I really like the way the house is coming together. I need to like paint a lot of stuff white still, but I still think everything looks really pretty. So I'm taking, I guess I'm taking a me day. I have been so like really busy, like for the month of, what are we in? This is like the first week of May, but like the full like month of April, like I was so tired every weekend. I feel like um, I made like this active choice. Like I'm like, I am going to like date, like for real, like date. And I probably went out with like six, maybe six different guys. And dating is hard. <laughs> it's like you can't act too interested, um, but you don't want to act uninterested. Where that fine line is, clearly I have no idea. Um, and it's so interesting. Like now I get why people are like dating is hard. I mean, yeah, dating is hard. I mean, not that I like hadn't dated before, but like dating in your 30s definitely different and dating in this generation where there's like social media and dating apps and stuff like that it's okay sorry i had to like sit down i'm like <laughs> i've had food but i'm like let me relax a little so it's definitely not easy because i feel like is it that there's like a lot of options for people like, if this date doesn't work out, oh, I'll just jump back on Tinder and I'll find someone else. Or, like, maybe I'll find someone, like, hotter, cuter, younger, smarter, richer. Like, I don't even know what people are looking for anymore. I do know what I'm kind of not looking for. Like, oh, I'm going to go on, like, a bit of a rant in regards to, like, Tinder dating. I'm sorry. I'm, like, I'm trying so hard to find, like, a comfortable position. Um, if you are on Tinder, please take your children off of Tinder. Like, you're especially, like... It, it's kind of, I'm sorry, I can't even have, I can't even form words when I talk about this specific topic. If you have children, don't put them on Tinder. If you tell someone, if you put it in your profile that you have children, I will believe you. We will all believe you because it's not like, oh my God, and I have kids. It's not, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like it's, it's unsafe. Like, don't put your children on Tinder. Take their faces off. People are, you don't know people. You don't know, whatever. What else do I have an issue with? Uh, your age. Why does every man over the age of 35 say they're 29? Like you're clearly 45, you're clearly 47, or it's just, ugh. and I get why people want to lie about their age, but like, I don't know, maybe I have an issue in general, just don't lie about your age, because I feel like I was on Tinder like maybe like a year and a half ago, two years ago. Hmm. People really, really exaggerate how young they are. I feel like, and then there's just like personal things that I like if 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 it's clear if it's very obvious that you hunt I will definitely swipe left for you um if you yeah so if you're lying about your age or if you appear to be lying about having children too like if you take a picture of yourself in your car and there's an empty car seat in the back although I would prefer that to people just putting their children's faces all over these dating apps and anyway, I guess I say dating apps like I'm on more than one I'm on tinder I like I feel like because I live in a small city there's like no point in being on the other ones I know there's like a lot of other sites but like if you um there I feel like you would just see the same people and like less people and it'd be like a massive waste of time to like be on a whole bunch of apps I don't know maybe maybe it's just me let me know if any of you guys are dating like what that is like for you guys um, especially if you're, I guess it's the same, I feel like if, if you're in your 20s, is it that different? It's just this whole generation of like, you know, like social media and like availability of like whatever you're looking for. You want a girlfriend? There's probably some girls trying to try and date you. You want to fuck? There's probably someone that's trying to do that too. I'm sorry, like seriously, I mm, potty mouth vlog today. Um, but Although, you know what, I will say this. I have found that the of, of the guys that I have gone out with, I want to say, like, there's good guys for sure. I don't think I've, 
I like went on a date with someone where I was just like, well, they were shit. You know what I mean? So, I mean, that's good. There's like, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and be like, there aren't like people who, who like don't message you and just like, so do you wanna like sit on my face and have some pizza? You know, there are people like that for sure. Um, but I mean, obviously you don't meet them. I mean, you can if that's what you're wanting to do, but um, I'm looking for more, I don't know. It's like, you know what the thing is, is I feel like, for, I'm sure dating overall is difficult, but I think for me it's difficult because it's like, I think men are always thinking that you want to like, be their girlfriend or like, be their wife, but I've been married. So I'm not like on that thing of like, trying to like, lock a man down. I'm just trying to find like, good people, you know what I mean? Like, eventually, yeah, marriage can definitely be in the cards. And like, obviously a boyfriend is in the cards, but it's not like something that's so, you know, like it, and it's just, you don't know how much interest to show in a person. And it's like, uh, and then the other whole thing is like, if you meet on Tinder, it's like, well, you met on Tinder, enough said. Like you're clearly seeing people or talking to people or whatever it is, I don't know. My arm is so tired from holding this. <laughs> this camera now so I'm gonna eat finish my lunch and finish Grey's Anatomy and you know what show is really good Orphan Black is really good anyway okay eaten done um, I think I'm gonna go cuz my brother is home like I said and we might go shopping cuz he just wants to look for some stuff but you know what I realized another reason for my like horrible mood is <laughs> eczema Please, any of you guys that have eczema or get eczema, I probably have like a situation like two to three times a year and it's exhausting. Like I took a Benadryl last night and it's just like, um, oh my God, so itchy. Like as we speak, I am like itching up a storm below what you can see on this camera. But like, oh, if you guys have any tips, share them. I feel like, um, I guess everyone who has eczema has it differently. Some people get it like knees, elbows, that kind of thing. I get it like everywhere on my body. Pretty much everywhere except for my face. Like I, I guess I should count myself blessed. Like it's not on my face, but like from my scalp to my ears, to my neck, to my shoulders, to my back, arms, legs, ass, every, all crevices. Like you, oh, it's horrible. So, um, if you guys have any, oh, this is what I use. Let me share this with you. Ugh. I use this uh, cortisone eczema stuff and it works pretty well where like I like, apply it and then I don't scratch, but I almost think it's like psychological because you know how it's like you apply, uh, my life, no lip product left, but uh, whatever, I've been eating. And um, what do you call it? And it feels better, but I feel like I just don't touch it because now there's something on there. Kind of how like you trick yourself. Oh, here, here I am. You know how you, you at night, if you're like eating and then you, um, I will brush my teeth to trick myself into like, you can't eat anymore, you've brushed your teeth, like that kind of thing. Um, but I'm gonna get ready now. And maybe I'll take you guys in the car. I don't know where we're gonna go. We're probably gonna go to TJ Maxx and stuff like that. And then I have dinner with my family tonight because I don't know if it's like this for you guys, but like in my family, whenever someone is home, there's like four of us like siblings. I'm always home, obviously, you know, since the past couple years. But like whenever anyone comes home, it's like family priorities, like, or family's like the top priority. Like there's like so much family time when anyone is back in town. Um, I'm sure it's like that for everyone. Anyway, all right, guys. So, um, what do you call it? Postponed shopping and whatever till tomorrow, and so we're just gonna do dinner. And I took a nap, or I tried to take a nap, but guys, it's eczema. Like I want to be tranquilized. Like I, and now I'm like late because we're supposed to meet at five. It's now. 505 and I just couldn't figure out what to wear you know if you have like you don't know what to wear because everything itches and everything is uncomfortable this is the um Mac Vamplify in Pamela from the Brook Brook Candy collection it's pretty I like it I actually just like the formula a lot but the color is pretty too I'm so tired. Mm. Oh, I have a new purse, kind of. Let me share it. Let me share it with you, kind of, here. Uh, it's by, I think it's it's called Ilbeka. 
and it's like a diffusion line from Joy Grison. So it's like this little cute little camo purse. And I've always wanted a camo purse, but I think it's really hard to find one um, that isn't like a satchel or isn't like a huge, huge purse. So this one's really tiny. I mean, it's not tiny, but it's like, like a small to medium sized purse that is really easy to carry around. So I'm really excited for that. Um, I have so much random crap in the car right now. Okay, let's go. It's like 70 degrees right now, which is like awesome, but not like warm enough to lay outside. Although the, I guess the visibility is okay. I feel like my hair looks less cute after I like slept on it a little bit, which doesn't make sense because it should look better, but it doesn't. That person did not even bother stopping at that stop sign. That's cool, whatever. All right guys, so today's Sunday. Mother's Day. I'm going to bake something this morning. Um, it's gonna be, well, well, maybe we'll get into that later. I have a load of laundry in and yeah, so I haven't done my hair. I just did my makeup. Uh, I used the same Morphe palette as yesterday, that 30, I think it's the 35T, so the taupe palette. And I used like a kind of a shimmery khaki green and I used Bobbi Brown Camel in the crease and we have just some fun little lashes that are from like Amazon probably they're just like two-thirds lashes and I have the Mac uh, not Mac Makeup Forever Face and Body on as the foundation again I usually just put on like two layers of it and I think it looks really good um, the Bourjois Matte Illusion Bronzer, a little bit of the Cover Effect Suntan as like a contour slightly. Uh, no blush. Highlight, I used the Pat McGrath, that new Skin Fetish, and I used it in Golden. And I feel this is like, is it bad? Can you like not see my makeup? Should I go like, there we go. That's slightly better, right? No, it's not. It creates shadows where there aren't really shadows. Um, My laundry is done. Yeah, so I'm gonna bake and I have to go to Costco today. I am not looking forward to going to Costco um, on a weekend. Have you guys ever been to Costco on a weekend? It is like, I don't know if people go there like after church on Sundays or if it's just like everyone congregates there. Like there are people like hanging out in the, hey Karen, like out in the aisles. It's just like, what happened? Why is Costco like the spot? I don't know. I, so this is the mix. The Ghirardelli dark chocolate brownie mix is like my 100% absolute favorite. They have these like dark chocolate chunks in them that are so good. So I usually use this. I don't think I've used any other brownie mix in like years, years and years. So this, and I always add like coffee to it because you know, let's make it even more bitter with the dark chocolate. Um, and then I'm thinking I have these like Archer Farms, the sea salt caramel cookies. Like, there's just like a few left in there. I might like chop them up really tiny and throw that into the batter. And then I'm gonna bake that. Then I'm gonna do a layer of Nutella. And then when I get to my mom's, like later, probably for like dessert, I have marshmallows. Um, I'm just gonna lay those on top. And when I get there, I'll just put it in the oven at her place. And then it sounds like it's gonna be really good. I think it'll be really good. So we'll see how that goes. So we got our egg, water, let's get some oil in there. Okay, so brownies are done. Um, I'm going to go hopefully find like a ton of tulips so I can get those. And I also um, really, okay, I know I complained about Costco before. I'm really hoping I don't have to go and that what I'm looking for, I'll find. Uh, somewhere else and okay what else I want to share these glasses with you they're super cute I have had my eye on these for a while and they're by Jimmy Choo and they have like these like crystals like ridiculous like I maybe they're Swarovski I don't know but I just love the way the lenses are they're like I want to say like they're kind of iridescent they're really really pretty and um I had my eye on them for a while like I said and I finally got them off of blue fly for like 150 maybe which is a big deal i feel like because these are like i want to say around 400 dollars retail so yes it's about 
10.45 right now, so do you guys like them? I, I, I like them. I, should I, I don't know. I can still return them, but I actually... And they weigh nothing. Um, sometimes sunglasses are really, really heavy, like especially if you're Asian or if you don't really have like a pronounced bridge. Glasses can feel really heavy, really fast, and they slide. So these feel like... There's like a Tom Ford pair that I have that are also so lightweight and I feel like these are even more lightweight than those like these weigh nothing oh I love them the only thing is I feel like it hit my lashes hit on this side so but I also feel like these kind of glasses are also ones you can't like throw around so like they came in this huge case which doesn't really fit in my purse so we'll see how how that whole thing works out but um like the list specs I've worn those, I think, in an Instagram post before, and they look fantastic, but they're really heavy. I definitely went on like super rant yesterday, didn't I? With like the dating and the Tinder. Oh my god, you know what? There's another thing I wanted to add to that. Maybe this is like specific to like Ohio or like Cleveland or areas where things like people holding men holding fish. More than half of the profiles have men holding fish so that was a super fail <laughs> there was there were no tulips i had come here like three days ago and there were tons of tulips and today zero okay so that's a fail so now and i couldn't find the other thing i want to get so i definitely have to go to costco now which <laughs> i have to like mentally prepare myself to battle like carts that are like i if I, those carts are big, like I can't really control those carts. Like it's kind of hard for me to push those around and then like not run into children that are like, that have escaped from their parents. So I got some tulips, they're so pretty. I like had grabbed one that was like, it was like pretty, but then um, she, this lady came out with this huge cart with like all these brand new ones. So I got these, they're so pretty. So I'm really excited for that. And then I got a lot of good food too that I wanna share with you guys. Also, some straight dude was like, your hair looks really good. So it must look good. If straight guys were like saying my hair looks cute. Anyway, I mean, was he straight? I hope so, he was cute. Um, so I'm very excited because now it's successful because I wanted to get, I got what I wanted to get. I got some tulips, which, I don't know, I'm not a flower person, but my mother loves uh, flowers. So, okay, can I get out of here? Isn't gonna happen. Oh, the struggle. It was not that bad, although, I mean, these carts are big. Like, I feel like when I'm pushing the cart, the cart is like right here. Like, that's how tall I feel when I'm with this cart at Costco. It's very hot right now. So I'm gonna go home, get this together, and, um, what is it? Uh, finish that brownie thing. Okay, from Costco. I've never had this before, but these are the cilantro lime shrimp. I'm probably gonna have some in a little bit. That looks really good. If you've never had this before, their quinoa salad, oh, is so delicious. So these two things will probably be my lunch this coming week. And then I got, I don't know, they have some rotisserie chicken legs for five bucks. Like this is a lot of meat. Like, and I tend to like dark meat. I don't know, I think white meat is dry. So that, and then this I've never had before toasted coconut organic popcorn. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of exciting. So I'm gonna finish these brownies and I'm actually kind of concerned that there's not gonna be enough marshmallows. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> okay, so we are on Tuesday and I was gonna, I should have finished up the vlog yesterday, but I was just so tired and my mood was not great. So Mother's Day was a success. The whole brownie thing was awesome. Oh my God, I'm really tired. I know you guys are probably sick of hearing this by now, but it's like this eczema, it's like, I'm like not sleeping and I'm so tired. And you know, like, uh, it's just like my whole body feels like a bruise because I've been like scratching and like smacking. Cause you know, you're like, let me try not smack. Let me try like lightly tapping or patting or rubbing. No, Ugh. anyway, so that was good. Where did we go from Mother's Day? We went to Bonefish. If you guys ever have been to Bonefish, then you know that uh, the, Bang Bang Shrimp is bomb. Uh, I ended up getting the ceviche, like the as, like the appetizer. Their ceviche is so good. Um, and then I got the white truffle mac and cheese. I very rarely will get like entrees. Uh, I think in general when I go 
to like restaurants like that like if I think if I go to like like a Chinese restaurant or a Japanese restaurant I will tend to get um, an actual entree but most of the time like I don't care like to me the menu is the menu I don't care if it says entree appetizer dessert I'm just like I want these things so that was it was a good day and they had this drink there I think it's I don't know if it's seasonal or what but it's like it was like cruising guava rum coconut juice pineapple juice they put like a real orchid in there like a Thai orchid like a really beautiful I don't feel like my hair is mullet mullety today anyway so eczema has been making me tired someone kind of hurt my heart a little so that makes me tired and um, what else can I share with you guys oh hair is still looking horrible <laughs> um no buy i'm attempting a no buy this month it's the month of may 2016 i don't know how well it's gonna go we're gonna try real hard and if may doesn't work out you know we're just gonna and then we'll try for june i feel like in july there might be some travel i don't know where it has not been planned yet I'm very bad with the planning of the travel not me but like when you travel with my family yeah that goes kind of slow i have tom ford velvet orchid on right now this smells so good and I know it's more it's like this make any sense it's like spring summer now but like the scent is like fantastic oh my god hair um I'm very excited that Tom Ford highlighter that is supposed to be very like black orchid inspired is coming out I saw the swatches on a blog I'm like <laughs> who cares I don't even care if it's good or not want Okay, we need to stop blocking. This hair is ugly. <laughs> 